Okay, so I actually received this in the post yesterday. Uh, the reason why it's taken me until today, the next day, to uh, to open up the package and to make the video is because uh, I couldn't make the video yesterday because by the time I was able to make it, it had gone dark outside, which would have meant that the lighting in the video would have been too dark. So uh, this should be from Whedon. So uh, let's open it up. And it is from Weedham. I don't think there's anything else in the box. Nope. So this is a Gugia Square One. Uh, number 131 and number 132. I guess they're both. Uh, different models um, I don't know I'm not sure <laughs> 3 plus I do quite like the design of the box kind of looks like splash paint or something warning choking hazard small parts and I can't read it from here well I can't read it through the viewfinder anyway um, not for children under 3 years got no idea what this Chinese writing says but if anyone can read Chinese, uh, just let me know in the comments section. Lots of three sad onion. Got a mirror blocks there, number one three or so uh let's open this up. So it looks like we've got some instructions inside. Square one solution method. Probably most of you are not interested in seeing this, but some people do like to look at this kind of stuff, so... Oops. Yeah. Okay, so this is the square one itself. Yeah, straight away it does look different from the uh, the MF8 square ones that I've got. The uh, not really so sure about the puzzle itself, but the stickers, they look different, they look, um, it's like on an MF8 square one, you can see it's like the stickers are smaller, in fact the cube actually looks bigger, so the cube is bigger and the stickers look smaller. So the cube, this puzzle itself is actually kind of different from the MF8 ones. Oops. Um, yeah, weird colour scheme. Usually you'd have like yellow air and white there, or vice versa. Instead you've got blue and then green there, and then you've got red, yellow, orange and white. But I don't mind, you know, it's just something different I quite like. Fact that it's different. Um, so let's see what it turns like. Kind of hard doing finger tricks while I'm looking through the viewfinder. Um, it's not too bad. I think it's definitely got potential. Um, 
kind of feels a bit catchy, I think that's because I don't have it aligned properly. But I mean straight away it does feel a lot better than how the MF8s feel at first. Feels quite good this way as well. Yes. Kind of catches a bit and it's just kind of difficult doing finger tricks while I'm looking through the viewfinder for some reason. Um, so yeah, I might as well just give it a scramble and show you what it's like when it's scrambled. Um, yeah, not, not really sure if you class that as fully scrambled, but yeah, so that's the uh, the Gugia Square One. Thanks for watching.